We tend to focus on our solar system's one star and eight major planets. But I think there are many other worlds out there that deserve their moment in the sun. Perhaps too many for me to tell you about them all right now, but I would like to share one in the 34th installment of my 700,000 part series, Better Know an Asteroid. Today, the asteroid 2014 J025. Instead of just reciting that license plate number, I'm going to call it Joe for short. Joe was discovered by the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona. The Catalina Sky Survey is our most successful search for near-Earth asteroids to date, finding over 7,000 of these space rocks that approach our planet. Joe is going to get especially close to the Earth later this week. On April 19th, it'll fly a little more than 1 million miles from Earth. That sounds like a long distance, but we haven't had an asteroid this large come so close in over a decade. Joe's definitely not going to hit us, and that's the good news, because Joe is pretty big, about four-tenths of a mile wide, or the size of that gray circle. If it were to hit the Earth, it could make a crater the size of the red circle big enough to swallow the entire city of Richmond. So it's far enough away that it doesn't pose us any threat, but it is a unique opportunity to study an asteroid like this. Radar astronomers are already looking at Joe, helping to refine its orbit, study its shape, they can even learn its rotation rate and look for moons that might be going around it. We also know that Joe is relatively bright for an asteroid, so if you have a large telescope, you might be able to spot it after it passes. Joe isn't alone out there. We know of many near-Earth asteroids. Almost 16,000 have been found so far. But we expect there to be many, many more. We don't really know the grand total of near-Earth asteroids, but do know that we've already exceeded the total number of predicted discoveries for asteroids the size of Joe. So there's some big ones out there that we should keep an eye on. Luckily, none of the near-Earth asteroids we've found so far are known to be on a collision course with Earth. We've got some more close passes in the near future. Another rock the size of Joe will pass even closer in 2027, but... These near-Earth asteroids are still a good reminder that it's okay to be familiar with space, but you better know an asteroid.